Just the mention of his name brings images of a notorious criminal linked to pure evil. Charles Millis Scott Manson. But that name brings a different title with it for Jason Freeman. If he wasn't family, trust me, I would not be there. Freeman, who lives in Bradenton, is Manson's grandson. He's been fighting for control of Manson's remains since his death in November. Of course, I know society's looking at me going, what the heck's this kid thinking? Freeman makes no excuses for his grandfather, the cult leader who orchestrated the murders of actress Sharon Tate and six others in 1969. In fact, Freeman says Manson brought darkness to his family. With his death, he hopes that darkness will begin to fade. Freeman intends to cremate the body and scatter the ashes in an undisclosed location bringing an end to a haunting chapter of history. You know, when he's put to rest, just know that the next generation's um, stepping up to help equip our next generation. Freeman knows he can never correct the evil deeds his grandfather inflicted on so many, but he hopes to prevent future generations from following the path Manson took. He volunteers with the youth ministry, helping keep kids off the streets and helping troubled teens clean themselves up. By intervening in their lives now, he hopes to bring light to those living in the dark. I just really hope that society sees and understands my heart. In Bradenton, Kimberly Quizon, Fox 13 News. And Freeman tells Fox 13 he is working on a documentary about the endings of his grandfather's life. And he says it will include the final chapter on his death and what will be done with his remains. He says they will not be brought back to Florida.